Well, it's been a wild couple of days for car crashes into buildings. Earlier today, watch this, as a driver came barreling through an office building in Kent. How did nobody get killed? This happened just after 9.45 this morning near what some say is a very busy and dangerous road in Kent. There were some minor injuries. Brian Flores has been tracking this story from our live desk and joins us with the latest. Brian. Yeah, Marnie, I'm going to start with the good news first and that everyone that was involved in this crash is going to be okay, including two kids who happened to be inside the office building at the time. But guys, go and take a look again at this video. It starts from the right side of your screen at this intersection. You can see uh, the box truck pause, then move ahead. And then moments later, the driver of the car swerves away from it, slams in the office building on 104th Avenue Southeast in Kent. Investigators say the driver suffered minor injuries in the crash. Two kids who were inside the office there waiting for another parent to pick them up. They were also hit by falling debris. One of the kids, though, a six year old girl, had to be taken to the hospital for treatment, but is likely to be OK. A person who works in the office says her desk was just feet away from this crash. When that car flew through the building, they were it was a blessing. They were under the desk because it protected them, actually, even though, <laughs> you know, it could have been a lot worse. And she's referring to the two kids that were in the office. And then there was this crash yesterday in Seattle's Bitter Lake neighborhood. A driver crashed into an L.A. fitness gym, ended up in the pool. Talking about the car there, fire officials say three people were swimming in the pool when that happened. Luckily, no one was hurt there as well. The cause of the crash, though, remains under investigation. In terms of the crash in Kent, though, people who work there say the same thing happened at that same intersection about six years ago, and they're hoping the city installs a traffic signal or perhaps a stop sign there. Marnie, back to you.